some behind the scenes on Commander 2021, and Extra Life Hearts Wizards of the Coast. What's up, Magic players? The new Commander 2021 decks have been available at most local game stores for a few days and officially release on Friday. But, as with most Magic products, they went through a few changes before ending up on shelves. In today's Good Morning Magic, Gavin Verhey, who was the lead architect on the Commander 2021 decks, talks with Corey Bowen, the set design lead, to discuss some early concepts for each deck. Lorehold offered a new challenge, making the deck not strictly about combat, and wanting the deck to have an archaeological feel. Osgear the Reconstructor originally had a draw engine instead of its first power that gives creatures extra power, but the design team changed it so that the card wasn't a complete engine on its own. Zafai Thunder Conductor previously had an ability that would allow you to find creatures from your deck when casting spells, but it was changed because they wanted Prismari to focus on casting really big spells. For Quandrix, the team wanted to deviate a bit from the go-wide token strategies and focused on clone tokens of other players' creatures and huge fractal tokens. Witherbloom's deck started off as only a life gain deck, but the team felt like it was gaining too much life, so to make sure games would end, they added life loss abilities to the deck as well. And finally, political decks like the Silver Quill deck are tough to make because they are divisive in the community and tricky to balance with non-political designs. Brina went through many iterations and adjustments to balance the risk and reward for players drawing cards to grow your team. What decks are you most looking forward to playing? Let me know in the comments. And make sure to pre-order your Commander 2021 products along with the rest of Strixhaven singles, foils, and sealed product at StarCityGames.com slash previews. One positive thing that gamers have done over the last several years is rally around donation drives for children's hospitals and charities. One of the biggest charities of this kind, Extra Life, which donates all proceeds to the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, awarded Wizards of the Coast the Extra Life Partner of the Year Award for their support. More than $1.6 million was raised for local Children's Miracle Network Hospitals in 2020 through D&D and Magic Community Fundraising, including the proceeds from the Extra Life Secret Layer Drop. Donations raised through Wizards of the Coasts will go to the Wizards of the Coast Autism Center Development Fund at Seattle Children's Hospital. Doesn't it just warm your heart? That's your Magic the Gathering news for today, Wednesday, April 21st. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm Jeremy Knoll, and this has been Split Second.